Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of application of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, let f be a twice differentiable function on interval that is given to us is between one and six. So we have been given that x can be between one and six anywhere. Further question tells us f of two is eight. f dash of two it's given to us is five. And question also tells us the derivative of the function f of x has to be greater than or equal to one. And the double derivative of that same function has to be greater than or equal to four. Then we have been asked if all values of x lie between one and six. Then four answer choices we have been given here. Let's see the answer choices. So answer choice one A, it says f of five has to be less than or equals to 10. The second, it says f of five plus f dash of five greater than or equals to 28. The third answer choice, it says f of five plus f dash of five less than or equals to 26. And the last answer choice we have been given here is f dash of 5 plus f double derivative of 5 has to be less than equals to 20. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question further. So I have been given f of x as my function. And if you see, we have been given that the first derivative is greater than or equal to 1 and the second derivative of that same function is greater than or equal to 4. So f dash of x is given to us as greater than or equal to 1. Now when that is given to us, we know if I just integrate this idea to get f of x, so I'm integrating this f dash of x dx, the limits for x if I'm putting here, I see all of my answer choices need 5 and the given values of the function are 2. And we have been told x between one and six so i can take the intervals of the limits from x equals to two to x equals to five and here also greater than or equals to integral of one dx the same limits so if i solve for this let's see what i get so integral of f dash of x i know it is f of x and the limits are from two to five greater than or equal to this integral of one which is x limits again from two to five if I solve for this, I get f of 5 minus f of 2 greater than or equal to 5 minus 2, which is basically 3. So greater than or equal to 3. So from here, I get f of 5. f of 2, if I take it on the other side, plus f of 2. And if I solve this further, f of 2 in this case, we know it is given to us in the question, which is 8. So you get 3 plus 8. And f of 5, in this case, we get it's basically greater than or equal to 11. So I get one idea. Now, the second condition, if I use it here, it says f double derivative of x is greater than or equal to 4. So if I integrate that also from 2 to 5 as my limits, dx, 4 dx. So if I solve for this, I get here f dash of x because integral of double derivative is nothing but the first derivative. So once I get that, the limits are changed from 2 to 5 greater than or equal to 4. Integral of dx, x, 2 to 5. So from here, I get f dash of 5 minus f dash of 2 greater than or equal to 4 times 5 minus 2. 4 times 3, which is 12. And f dash of 5 plus f dash of 2. So minus f dash of 2 I've taken on the other side. So it becomes plus f dash of 2. f dash of 5 becomes greater than or equal to 12 plus f dash of 2. It's given to us in the question 5. So 12 plus 5, that's 17. So f dash of 5 is greater than or equal to 17. I have this. I have this. Once I have both of them, I'll just add them together. So I get f of 5, f dash of 5 greater than or equal to 11 
plus 7. And since both are greater than or equal to, I can add both the equations. So that gives me greater than or equals to 18. And 11 plus not 7, it's 17. So let's change it. 17. 17 plus 11, that basically becomes 28. So if I'm adding both f of 5 plus f dash of 5, it's becoming greater than or equals to 28. And if I see the answer choices that we have here, the options are B. So B is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of integrals. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.